sad day yesterday, as we heard some details about the death of Gabby Petito. The coroner stated the cause of death as manual strangulation. We also heard that Gabby was not pregnant, despite the rumors going around. Another important fact that we learned was that Gabby's body was outside for three to four weeks before she was discovered. We know that Gabby's body was found on the 19th of September. Therefore, she was killed between the 22nd and 29th of August. We are going to narrow it down today. We know that Gabby was definitely alive on the 25th because she FaceTimed with her mom. August 27th, is the date I believe Gabby Petito was killed. I will explain why, first of all, it was the last sighting of her alive, and it was quite a significant one too. They were at Mary Piglet's, and an argument broke out between Brian and a waitress. It was reported that Gabby was very emotional and apologetic. Four hours later, travel bloggers driving through Grand Teton National Park drove past the couple's van, abandoned, on a dirt road. I believe that this was the time Gabby's body was disposed off. There have been no verified sightings after the 27th of August. Another significant thing about the 27th is that a bizarre text was sent from Gabby's phone. The text was sent to her mother. She also messaged her friend on Snapchat saying that she was headed to Yellowstone. Keep in mind that Yellowstone is two hours away from Grand Teton. I believe that this text was sent by Brian to throw everyone off. The last thing that I find really odd about the 27th of August, which could be purely coincidental, but worth mentioning. In the book, Lullaby, page 27 is very significant. It contains the lyrics of a culling song kill, whether spoken or even just thought. It's a lullaby sung in Africa to give a painless death. Therefore, taking the above into consideration, I firmly believe that Gabby Petito was killed on the 27th of August 2021. What do you think?